Hello all and thank you again. This will be my last presentation. So, <laughs> so sorry for talking so much in this conference. Uh, so my, my uh, presentation is about uh, oral Wikipedia. Is it a dream or a reality? Uh, it's not really about oral Wikipedia, but it's about anything that is not text. So anything that could be interactive in the Wikipedia for different, different reasons. So uh, I will mostly talk in this presentation about uh, the differences that we have in the world and the different contexts and the different source of information and why or how we should also see uh, Wikipedia in the future. And the main idea from my presentation is not that I will try to present something concrete, but it's mostly that I will give a lot of ideas, a lot of questions, and which, for, for which I don't have answer myself. And the, the, the aim is to inspire you to think also about these things and maybe to brainstorm yourselves with your groups uh, about the future and about how you see these things. So as you know, not all the languages are written and uh, it has a lot of different reasons and different backgrounds through history, uh, also culturally. So some languages are more uh, oral uh, since, since a long time and they have always been related to uh, their oral heritage. Also, some kind of uh, languages did always live with stronger languages. So the stronger languages in the area was the ones that were written, while, let's say, these minority languages were more oral. And it was not always a choice, but it's a fact. So a lot of languages are not written for different contexts. <laughs> uh, there is then the question that everyone asks, do these languages deserve a Wikipedia? Uh, you know, uh, it's a very debatable question. Why? Because there is first what Wikimedia uh, says in its vision. Imagine in a world where every single human being will have access to information. But then when I discuss with a lot of people, we have different points of view. Some people tell me, yeah, okay, uh, knowledge should be available for all, but it doesn't mean that knowledge should be available in all the languages. If you want knowledge, you can learn this more important language that will provide you more tools for learning. While, of course, there is the other point of view, which is that if we want to fulfill this vision and that everyone should access knowledge, then they should access it in their mother tongue. So it's, it's two different points of views, uh, which are kind of uh, far from each other and they don't really listen to each other that much. Uh, in, the, in, that, in that matter, there is also this question that what is an encyclopedic language? Are all languages encyclopedic? Because there is also a lot of people who claim that some languages are not encyclopedic because of their nature. So for example, there is a language, it's not my opinion, of course, I'm just saying what people say, but uh, there is a lot of people claiming that, uh, well, uh, there are some languages related only to some contexts. And if you want to talk about technology, you cannot use this language because all the words of technology, all the vocabulary of technology will need to be imported from some other language. For example, in Sub-Saharan Africa, all the tribal languages do not have uh, words for computer and the, the mouse and keyboard and everything. So either they have to create it or they have to import it from English or French. And then it will be a lot of French or English influence when it comes to some areas. Uh, of course, they can create it themselves, but then the issue is that it becomes, as I mentioned earlier, it's kind of very political and ideological because it's not a matter of the community of people. There should be always uh, effort from the state, effort from uh, the council, effort from the region. There should be uh, some kind of institutes who will do this work because this is not the work of the people to create the word of mouse in Bambara language. It's, it's not the, someone from the community who should do that. It's mostly uh, the state, but it's not always the case everywhere. So those questions are, are really important because uh, there is no answer for them, it, and it, there are different points of view. Uh, should all the languages have a Wikipedia? Do they all deserve a Wikipedia? Are all languages encyclopedic? But in my presentation, I suppose that it's the case that all languages deserve to have a Wikipedia. Then we come to the point that uh, not everything is written. Uh, the problem is that who created the Wikipedia and who created the internet? It's the West. So they created it through their own way of saying things from their own angle, which is that they suppose that language is written and uh, in the West sources also are written and bec because this is how it works in the West. The knowledge was transmitted in the written way. The biggest languages have their own rules, they have their own standards and everything is written. 
So it's very normal, and I don't blame anyone for creating Wikipedia the way they did, because they created it from their own point of view and from their world view that they have, which is completely fine. Because if I also people who speak oral languages were to create Wikipedia, they will create an oral Wikipedia, and then the writing people will struggle. How can we write? And so it's, it's completely normal. It's, it's not to blame someone, but it's because the world is so big and we have differences in the world that we have also to include the other parts. And we have to understand that if something was created in the beginning from an, uh, a group of people, then they have to think also about being inclusive later on because this is something that is international and needs to include the whole world. So in, the, in, this, in this context, and as you know, writing is the only way of documenting and has been the only way of documenting, at least for encyclopedias and let's say high rank documentation. Uh, there, was always, there has always been oral traditions, but they were not as seen as equal as when the content is written. There is always a difference, either we acknowledge it or not, but people will always have uh, a more consider more consideration, let's say, for, for written content because it goes through peer review process and many other things. So, so there is always this, this consideration. But we are now in 2019 and we have access to technology and in the world, there is more and more uh, multimedia and interactive content. So the idea of, of, of writing in, for documenting is good, but now we have tools to document in other ways. So the question is, should we try to use these tools? Should we try to work with these tools? Or should we just keep on uh, the traditional way of documenting, which is writing? Uh, when we come to the, the diversity also, uh, the diversity is a subject that is it's, it never finishes because everyone can claim that they are diverse and they're unique. Uh, you can always have cluster people in, in groups and say, okay, diversity each, each continent. But then people will say, no, diversity each, each country in the continent. And people will claim, no, it's each region in the country. Until we come to the individual who claims that they are a, a person which is unique. I am unique, you are unique, everyone is unique. So what is the limitation of the diversity? Because if we go into the discussion, we have to put a scope. And this is very relevant for the diversity working group that works on the strategy and my friend Mark there, who I have a discussion with him yesterday, so we will continue the discussion. Uh, but it's very relevant in, in case of we want to put a scope for the diversity and know where we want to stop and what we want to reach. But it's very important to know about the format of the content that we would like to have in terms of diversity. Uh, will diversity include also the content? Do we have only to have a written content or should we also include other forms of content that will uh, make us able to reach other communities and other people? And here again, the discussion is, is broad and have, it, it has a really a lot of uh, branches because some people claim that, okay, there is already audio and video content yeah, in this part of Wikipedia in the comments, but this is not what I'm talking about. Because what is in the comments is audio or video, but just, just part of the archive. But let's say I want to have a whole Wikipedia about a language that is not written. So can we have a Wikipedia, uh, let's say a, vi a whole video Wikipedia, where you have each article is a video. And this is not about having a video in the comments, but it's about having everything uh, interactive in, in that Wikipedia. Uh, but this is very debatable again for many reasons which is uh, related also to the evolvement of languages because a lot of people will claim that, uh, well, uh, you know, uh, all the languages that need to be in an encyclopedia have evolved through time. And yes, they were oral at the time, but if you want to reach higher status, then you should standardize and you should have it in a written format. So uh, if your language is oral, then it means that it's not ready to be encyclopedic and it needs to go through some steps before it becomes written and standardized and then be encyclopedic. But again, this, this discussion is always in a loop because uh, the two parts will never agree with each other. And uh, I don't think that the solution is to put them to discuss with each other. A solution is that if, uh, and this is a generic solution, not only for this matter, but I believe that if you believe in something, instead of spending time complaining and discussion, you can work on it yourself and create articles or create videos and put them and nobody will, will remove them. Uh, so. Another point that is important is the technical part. So uh, as you know, we are still in 2019, we are not in 2100. So uh, we can uh, create videos, we can put them in comments or put them in the Wikipedia, but it's very difficult to claim that we can have a whole 
video Wikipedia because the concept of the Wikipedia is that it's very editable and if I want to change even a, a dot or a comma, I can do it. But when it comes to a video, let's suppose that I upload a video and I write, uh, okay, Penryn is in Asia and this is a video. So if someone wants to just remove Asia and write Europe, how can they do this, or not write, but say Europe, how would they do this? And, and would, it, would it be like, I will appear with my face in the two first seconds of the video, and then the other person will appear for one half second saying Europe, and then the third person will say something else. So it's, it's a technical challenge that we have to think about, and it's, it's very fun. It's very cool for the researchers, I guess. And I think that there will be a solution maybe in 50 years, not now, but if we don't discuss the subject, obviously there will be no solution. But uh, to have a solution, it needs to be discussed and, uh, and have some research uh, in it. Uh, so to conclude, because I, I wanted really to be brief and just to share the questions with you to have some time for the discussion, I wanted first to ask the big question is, what is the future of non-written minority language Wikipedias everywhere in the world? Uh, there are two different ways how you can see things. You can see either by having them as the language for which you will have the Wikipedia, so you will have all the, all the knowledge in that language, which is one way of seeing things. Uh, it's like when you have it as a language of instruction. So you have articles in that language. But there is also another view, which is that you can have them just as a kind of archive. So you don't want to have content in that, in that language. You just want to have everything that is said in that language by someone and have videos and audios and put them as an archive so that if this language disappears one day, you can say, oh, it's OK. We have it still somewhere. And we can see how people were, were speaking it. And this is actually the case for many, uh, unfortunately, extinguished languages like the ones uh, spoken by the Inuits. There are a lot of videos about uh, Inuits in, in, in the comments uh, where they are talking about their traditions and things like that. But you will never find content in that language about, for example, the planets or the countries of the world. Uh, and it's very debatable. Should they have content about that? Or is it fine that we just archive the language and it's saved somewhere uh, and use Wikipedia in that case as a database? not as a source of lower knowledge, but as a database. And it's two different things. Uh, then again, the important point that, that I have is that what is an encyclopedic language? Are all languages encyclopedic? This is a very hot potato that I come across all the time and everybody discusses it. Uh, it's very difficult to answer. You can have your own opinion, but it doesn't mean that everybody will agree with you. But again, I come back to the same point that I'm saying. If I think my language is encyclopedic, I will not spend my time convincing people who will never be convinced. Uh, instead, I will go and write in the incubator and be very active, and then it will become Wikipedia one day. Because there are a lot of languages that have their own Wikipedia currently, and uh, they are considered by dialects as dialects, so they're considered by some other people as not encyclopedic. But the fact is that they have their own Wikipedia, which I think is very good and very fair because people can share knowledge between each other, which is the view of, of uh, Wikipedia. Uh, so uh, to come back again uh, to uh, the video content, we have uh, some problems in, at least in my region, I don't think you guys have it, which is illiteracy. So we have a lot of people who cannot read and write. These people also deserve knowledge. And one of the ways to give them knowledge is to give them knowledge through something else than written content. And in this case, videos, for example, or audios is something that is very powerful and very useful. Again, here, I, when I give an argument, I give always the counter argument. So the counter argument that people are saying is that, well, illiteracy is something of the past and it will disappear in 100 years because now there are so many schools that are built everywhere and everyone will be able to read and write in 100 years. So you are just wasting your time in putting this content because these people uh, or these generations don't uh, uh, come back again and all the children now can read and write. So it's very debatable. Uh, another point that I really don't like, but I had to put it, is it that is it just how the world is now? Because the world has always, the world has always been unfair. Uh, it's not really fair in the world and not uh, every, everything is as we would like to have it. There are every, always wars and there, are, there is poverty and there are a lot of problems. And the encyclopedia is not an like, utopic world. So what is happening in the world is also happening in the encyclopedia as it is the mirror of the world. Uh, this is, of course, not my opinion, but it's an opinion shared by many people. And uh, it, it, it can be understood also because how do you want to have an encyclopedia? You want to have an encyclopedia disconnected from the world, or you have, uh, which is very perfect and where you have everything you want, 
or you want to have an encyclopedia that shows the world and in this case there will be a lot of inequalities and uh, which would be probably unfair uh, and finally uh, i will encourage you encourage you all to to dream a bit and uh, brainstorm a bit about uh, how to have uh, oral languages included in wikipedia and in which format do you want to have it as an archive do you want to have it as a uh, source of content in this case how can videos be edited if you have a video article and then so on so i think it's very interesting sub very interesting subject uh, i'm not expert myself but i just wanted to share share these thoughts because it's uh, about minority languages and i think it's it's very fun and very interesting to to think about this subject and see how it could be solved and then uh, you can talk with mark because he will implement these strategies hopefully <laughs> so I, I put everything for you and thank you very much <laughs> Yes. Oh, Maraz, while Delith is setting up, just one question, yes? Sure. Comment, actually. Oh, okay. Can I tell you that at Wikimania this year, yep. Wikimedia Medicine is going to unveil Video Wiki, nice. which is, which is a, a mechanism by which we can create scripted videos, which are slideshows with sections of, short sections of video, and a, set, and a track which is a, 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 a machine vocalization of the written word. And that track will obviously be editable into other languages. So we have it now, the technology is now with us. It's here this year, not 15 years from now, to produce those videos that you're interested in. And the idea is that we can say, if you want an article on uh, a triple bypass operation, We'll have that, and you can see the, the gory details, or at least the cartoons, the diagrams, and the description, and you can have it in French, you can have it in Welsh, you can have it in Breton, all you need is somebody to write the script. Video Wiki. Video Wiki. It's with us now. Great. But well, may I just comment quickly, mm. because I discussed this yesterday, exactly this uh, Video Wiki. The thing is that it's generated to a script. Yeah. Which is a problem because I'm talking about languages that don't have a script. Well, it's a good start, <laughs> but if, for, for a language that doesn't have a script, they have to create a script mm. to have the video. That's right, but, but, but you've got to have that to start from. Mm. Yeah, exactly, it's a very good start, I agree. Yeah. Mm. That's not the problem. No. <laughs> 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 quick, quick, okay, quick, Kimberly. Very good. We've been having the same discussion with some uh, sign languages. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, because the same thing that you have, you might correct something that you have like eight different people doing that thing. And, and so we have, a, there's nobody's come up with any solution, but it's also a yes. yeah, okay. that we've been thinking about. It's good to think about it. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Anas. All right.